Coming up on TLDR from GeekWire. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella made more than $25 million in 2018. A $499 personal email server. And Lyft launches a new subscription plan. From GeekWire, it's TLDR. Our news rundown on tech, business, and other geekiness. TLDR is presented by ReachNow. Experience the future of mobility at reachnow.com. Our first story is about Microsoft. The company has had a record year, from Microsoft stock exceeding $100 per share for the very first time, to the company bringing in $110 billion in revenue. According to Microsoft's annual proxy statement, the company's CEO, Satya Nadella, made more than $25 million in the 2018 fiscal year, which ended in June. In the evaluation, Nadella is praised for the acquisitions of LinkedIn and GitHub, as well as the successes of Microsoft's gaming division and its commercial cloud business, which both brought in billions of dollars in revenue. And in the era of data breaches, Microsoft is able to avoid some of the scandals that other tech companies like Facebook have been through. The company has actually tried to present itself as a defender against hackers. Ahead of the 2018 midterm elections, Microsoft is offering a new cybersecurity program to help political candidates protect themselves from hackers. A Seattle area startup wants to change the way we do email. Helm unveiled its personal email server device. It helps people send and receive emails from their own domains. Now, the idea of a personal email server is not new, but it can be difficult for everyday consumers to maintain, and that's where Helm comes in. The device is about the size of a router and kind of looks like an upside-down book. It comes with 120 gigabytes of solid-state storage with the option to add up to 5 terabytes. This will cost you $499 plus an annual subscription fee of $99. If you don't own a car or if you use rideshare frequently, you might want to look into Lyft's new subscription plan. For $299 per month, riders who subscribe to Lyft's all-access plan will get 30 rides as long as each ride doesn't go over $15. So if you already use Lyft that often, then you would save about $150 by subscribing to this plan. Now if your ride does go over $15, then you would have to pay the difference. Subscribers also get 5% off additional rides. Speaking of subscriptions, make sure to subscribe to GeekWire's YouTube channel to keep up with the latest in tech. It's free and we upload new videos every week. I'm Starla Simpaco. Thanks for watching TLDR. We'll see you tomorrow.